I'm Dan Maltz, VP of Application Platform Engineering at Jagby, and I'm going to talk to you today about mashups with SharePoint. So to start with, I wanted to kind of look at the bigger picture here. In any organization, we're likely to have some sort of services layer. Now, outside of SharePoint, that might be composed of our applications, of some elements of our SOA, and just other services that we might have. So we might have uh, information that's coming from a database, from a REST service, such as XML or HTTP. Uh, we might have a CRM system that exposes some information. We might have something from HR. Again, we might have other web services that exist in the organization that we're using. Uh, we might have directory services. But we've got these services layer. Now in SharePoint, we've got a set of services as well. Uh, we've got, uh, within our different sites, we're going to have list services, we're going to have views, uh, search, certainly a, an important piece. So we've got the services layer, and what we often want to do is combine information from these various services and, and use them to create our applications. If we look up here and we consider these are applications, and we might have uh, some applications that live outside of SharePoint, we might have other applications uh, that are SharePoint sites themselves. But what we also have to consider is what I would call here our access layer. So in an organization you might have an enterprise portal. for visualizing and providing access to the services. But you also might be using SharePoint to provide that capability in some parts of your organization. Now, in the access layer, we're going to be considering a number of things. One important thing is authentication. Another is authorization. And certainly if we're thinking about our identity management solutions, that, that would live there as well, and single sign-on across different parts of our, of, our, uh, of our applications or services. So if, if we're thinking about authentication, authorization, and identity management, we need to consider the heterogeneity of this environment. So we're talking about, for example, in the case of SharePoint, very typically NTLM. And we might be talking about version 1, NTLM, we might be talking about version 2. Uh, in this other you know, service uh, ecosystem over here, we might be thinking about other things. Um, uh, we might need to think about uh, WS security, for example, for our web services. Within that, we need to think about user token profile, perhaps. If we just have an ID and password as our credentials, we might need to think about a 509 profile, if we're using personal certs, which gets us into thinking about mutual SSL, um, PKI, and we also need to think about access control and attribute providers, such as LDAP, which is very common in an organization, which gets us to thinking about attribute-based access control and how we use the attributes from our LDAP or from other custom attribute stores to, to create policies to restrict you know, access to this, these services and applications. Well, that, that can be pretty complicated if we're looking at that heterogeneous environment, and this is where when we build our applications and our, and our sites, we're going to want to be looking at consuming information from SharePoint, consuming information from outside of SharePoint, combining that information and potentially visualizing it back within SharePoint as, as a web part potentially, or perhaps visualizing outside of SharePoint uh, in some other technology, such as a presentation to your, uh, in Flash or in Ajax or something else. So um, to do that, we're really combining all these things, and we also want to think about you know, how do, we, how do, we, how do the, we create these visualizations on top of these, these services and bring them back. So when considering all this, we want to basically also consider kind of the, the key, key tenets of a mashup. We want to do this rapidly. We want to do it dynamically, meaning 
we don't want to have to pull all this information out of where it lives, put it in a separate information store, uh, batch process it. We want to be able to do this stuff in place, and certainly we want to be able to do this securely. So there's a number of different architectures we can use to, to kind of build these applications. So if you kind of take a step back and look at the fact that we want to build these applications either inside and outside of SharePoint, uh, we want to consider uh, access control, be it NTLM or other security uh, that might exist inside or outside of SharePoint. We want to be able to use services uh, that exist outside of SharePoint, combine those with services that live inside of SharePoint. Uh, and build you know, these visualizations using either web parts that come out of the box standard with SharePoint as, with custom web parts that we build ourselves using, using ASP.NET um, or build these into applications that live outside of SharePoint. But all of this is about mashing up this information and getting it to the user rapidly in a dynamic fashion and doing it securely. So in part one I talked about a high level architecture for organizations that are doing mashups with Microsoft technologies, such as Microsoft SharePoint and Microsoft Excel. Now I want to show you how you would apply that architecture. Let's start by drawing our SharePoint instance here. And we want to use Visual Studio to develop a couple web parts. And we're going to use ASP.NET server controls such as grids and labels along with a library from Presto called Presto Connect for C Sharp which is one of the many language libraries we provide that allows you to talk back to Presto the mashup server So, what Presto is going to be doing is it's going to be consuming information from multiple disparate data sources that we talked about earlier. These could be web services, these could be REST-based services, XML over HTTP, these could be information from your relational database, from applications such as your CRM. And what you're going to be doing then is creating mashups within Presto that consume information and combine and aggregate information from multiple disparate information sources. And you're going to be feeding those back through your Presto Connect for C-sharp connection to your application server control, which is going to create your visual for your web part, which you're going to display on your site page in SharePoint. Now we need to remember that this connection here is secured leveraging the disparate security models that might exist among these services. We talked about WS security, multiple profiles there like user token profile or X509. Uh, we might have basic auth over HTTP. Um, we might have uh, NTLM. Now if we had NTLM, oddly enough, we might be using SharePoint, as we mentioned, as an information source. So the service layer in SharePoint would also be exposed here, whether we want to get to our list within SharePoint, and we could expose that using uh, NTLM uh, security. So Presto takes care of dealing with the heterogeneous security models that might exist. The other thing I wanted to point out is while Excel might be back here as an information source, Excel is also a destination and you can actually publish your mashups back into Excel as your mashup canvas. We've had a look at kind of the higher level architecture and an example of how you would apply this architecture. I also want to encourage you if you're interested to go to our mashup developer community at jackb.com slash dev. We have an entire area dedicated to mashups with SharePoint and Microsoft technologies. So we encourage you to check that out. Come and have a look and you know if you, you can post on the forums if you have questions or comments and 
I'll be there looking for you.